Good morning, Jenny from Studio 28E in Junk Journey for Fun and from all sorts of other groups. Um, I'm doing a project for Studio 28E. I've got such a beautiful kit here. This is called the Children's Kit. Like I started the book cover, the pages are already in. A lot of work to be done with that. But I've got heaps of the kit already and it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A lot of sewing. I'm going to do a kit that doesn't involve sewing. Let's see the others that I haven't done the corners to. I've done the corners on some of my digi kits. How cute. How cute is this kit? It's really um, something that I wanted to do. This is a children's one. So this one actually caught my eye. And I really, really like it. So there's lots of things you can do with this kit. I normally put my pages on first and get my signature together. Then I do my work on the actual kit. So this one really is such a sweet kit. And um, I can actually do a lot with it. And that's what I like about Sherry's kits. I can actually work. Um, with them. Sometimes I've hassled working with some kits, not necessarily Cherie's, but other designers, only because I need room to move. I don't know if people understand that. That was going to be my original cover and I changed my mind. Look at all the infirma that comes with the kit. So it's really, really cute. So I've done a lot of cutting, as you can see. Got it prepped. Now what I'm going to do is I will do some process uh, progress work um, and actually show you some tips of how to actually get a digital kit um, up and running in your journal. I like printing on heavy um, photo papers. Well, it's not photo paper, it's actually just digital paper, and it's heavy duty. A little envelope, a little booklet. Well, that's what that's going to be. Like, you can see how thick it is, but I prefer that. Um, in, I find um, doing it this way is a fun way. So, yeah, there's lots to this kit many ways you can actually use it too. So by the time I finish this journal, it's going to be a very, very chunky journal. This is one of the pages I cut up. Now with these, I will either make pockets or journaling tags. Again, that's another page that I cut out. This I will use to decorate with. I'll say this one will have a, quite a bit of lace in it. There's quite a few pages here. I'm looking, probably about 140 pages. As you know, you would have seen me do this cover. I just thought it went appropriately with this uh, digi kit. So all my papers are ready and in. I've just got to basically do some work to them and get them to the style I want them to. So there, that's my um, project for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the stitchy kit as much as I do. Like I said, it's just amazing. It's a beautiful children's digital kit. So you've got lots to work with. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, 
any problems or you want to work with a kit, don't hesitate to ask us. That's what we're there for. And as I keep doing this kit, like I said, I will do pages from time to time. I'll be working with this digital kit and I will be working from Lynn Phelps from Paper Loft by Lynn on her kit. So this is Studio 28E kit and the other one will be Lens from Paper Life. Thanks for watching and see you soon.